dreaming of buying a home? Your local Lakeshore lending team, Envoy Mortgage, is ready to assist you. Call Casey or William at 616-303-0728. Love your home, love your loan. Welcome to Community Connect. I have with me Rich Lohman yep. of Wahooing. So thanks for being here today. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. What you're doing is great, so it's just an honor to be Appreciate here. Appreciate it. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about what you do and the importance of uh, what you do in the community. Right. So tell me a little bit about Woohooing. Okay, so you know, if I was to start it off, Woohooing is a very sticky name, uh -huh. uh, and it doesn't represent the business and the, the importance of what I see the business is, but it's, it is a leadership coaching and consulting business. And you know that's where I can start in the okay. process. I think Wuhuing doesn't tell me the name of your or it tells me the name, not necessarily what you do, but it tells me about your personality. Right. So now, now, now we're getting now we're somewhere. Getting and I think that's the importance of of the name and and what you do. So before we started recording, we were talking a little bit about people and enjoying you know what you do. Is it about what, enjoying exactly what you do, or tell me about it is, it, you know, having the heart to serve, and it, this isn't who I started off with. You know, a lot of the growth of me and going on a growth journey myself. You know, I have a story of being a, a sales manager and a sales leader, you know, in my early 20s. And I was so under-resourced to be a leader in an organization. And that, along with a lot of other variations in my life, you know, just uh, events, turned me on to leadership and now that's the biggest thing is I you know the heart to serve you and I talked a little mm -hmm. bit about uh, Martin Luther King and anybody can be great because anybody can serve sure. and that's the expansiveness of what I see leadership to be about is all the different pillars of the community that we can lead into and tell me about the importance of being a leader uh, it's you know leadership is everything in my world you know leadership is influence Yet, you know, at the same time, it's everything because whether it be our churches, whether it be our schools, whether it be our businesses, whether it be our government, in all the different sectors as, as you, you're learning about government and whatnot, these are the pillars. It, you know, our youth are a pillar and the importance of them understanding what quality good leadership is, is paramount to the success of a community. It's uh, our future community. It's I mean, our future community, it's our future state, it's our future country. Mm -hmm. And we need to get better at it because those pillars are struggling to a degree. And that's where you come in because you're teaching leadership, um, coaching. Yes. So tell me a little bit about what you do in your business. You know, it's interesting. You know, it's either whether it be one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching and or starting to get into workshops and or speaking events. It's there, you know, speaking is there to challenge and inspire people to start their own journey. Uh, coaching and workshops is to get to the depth of it. I was in, you know, a workshop either even today and that's the feedback from the participants is they thought they knew what leadership was mm -hmm. until they started to explore with me the depth of what it is and how it's going to impact their family. There were a couple guys that committed to being better dads out of what they learned in what influence really is. So it's not just about business. No. I mean, it affects you personally, yes. your family, your business, and then your community. Yeah, I would say it, it starts, you said it right. Like, I, mm -hmm. I think you get it. It's self-leadership. Then it turns into how you can lead your family, how can you lead in your church and or in the businesses and in the community as a whole. Now, which leads me to my next question, can every, I know everybody has the potential to be a leader, but I'm not so sure everybody can be a leader. I mean, there's got to be, <laughs> or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have, I'll use a classroom for an example. If you have, in a classroom at a high school, if you have 30 leaders, how does that work? Or if you're in a business and you have 30 leaders? Well, again, leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing mm -hmm. less. So, you know, what's the right influence? And, you know, can you have too many leaders? No. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, think about the scope and the reach that 30 people can have on a community versus one good leader. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, for me, it's you're right. Nobody's a natural born leader. You know, mm -hmm. no doctor has ever held up a baby and said, look, it's, <laughs> look, a, leader. it's a leader. It's always, it's a boy, it's a girl. 
but what that person that develops the leadership skills can do in their life, in you know, all of the outreach that we can go through, whether it's in our community or around the world, you know, that's what we want. And so if there are 30 people in a company mm -hmm. that all become better leaders, there's still an a, a authority base and a hierarchy sure. that they're gonna work through. But how can number 23 influence all the customer base? And it's sure. still just that influence piece. And it's also, you know, now that I think about it, <clears throat> your style of leadership. Somebody might be more, um, you know, servant-based. Right. Or somebody might be more, um, you know, organized. Right. So everybody has their different styles. And, and is, if we understand that, everybody can benefit from it. Yeah, that's huge. You know, breaking down personalities. You know, and, and a big part of my business is, you know, helping people through the Maxwell method of DISC mm -hmm. or behavioral mm -hmm. styles uh, and understanding that there are reserved people uh, that are going to be great Mother Teresas. You know, they're, they're a leader but it's through serving others, not through their voice or being outgoing or being directive. You know, they're gonna serve from their style and their personality, but they're only gonna be able to do it if they understand the personalities of other people. Sure. So the inexhaustive nature of leadership and all the different twists and turns, I like to tell people there are new t no two days that are the same in leadership mm -hmm. because life happens. Sure, and so, how do you work with that? How, how do you, you work with somebody it? who has a different personality than you and then you're right uh, even though you may not agree you still have to get along yeah 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 um <clears throat> so thinking about the city of grand haven or this area we have some great leaders yeah. um, larger companies the chamber but you know it's not just those large companies like shape and jsj it's it's everybody right yeah. it, it's everybody there, there's some myths out there mm -hmm. you know there are some people that are underdeveloped you know just haven't been exposed to it that believe leadership is a position mm -hmm. no leadership is influence so you know the I, I once I'm a voracious reader I once read a book about the real leader in the storyline of the book was a janitor in a school mm -hmm. So there, there you understand that there was a basketball coach as the epicenter of the story. There was a principal, but the real leader, the influencer to all the kids, all the adults was the janitor. When you start to understand that context, you know, leadership is not for position. Leadership is not for the person uh, that has all the knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, leadership is, is part of how you treat people and how you put people before yourself and help people climb to a higher level. Which is a little difficult for some people. Uh, yeah, you know, especially reserved people, uh -huh. or maybe people that want to be out in the forefront because there are some personality types, mine included, that you know, are more egocentric mm -hmm. in, in learning how to balance it all out. But there, you know, there's three, four, five myths of leadership, but leadership, you know, debunk all the myths, it's truly just influence. You know, how do you make impact uh, create significance in the life of another or lives of others sure so it's not just for business yeah every aspect of life yes you gotta have those leadership skills absolutely those people skills absolutely good um so lastly how can people get a hold of you if they're interested in learning more about you know becoming a better leader sure you know it, it is either uh, you know truly uh, I'm well branded in the community and you know ask somebody who the woohoo guy is <laughs> and what woohooing really is uh, but woohooing.com um, and more importantly I, I'd like to be you know seen as somebody that is a leader in the community so reach out to the chamber you know that, that such a great resource uh, reach out inside the school systems and find out what can you do it doesn't have to be me we just want growth and we want development of every one of those pillars whether it's how can we help the kids uh, with all the ver various problems that they have these days I know there's some great people out there that are doing an amazing job with leadership but if it's to formalize leadership you know with my backdrop in in being part of the John Maxwell speaking coaching training team and having John the world's number one leadership development person it's a different twist and it goes so much deeper than some of the other programs that sure. are out there so other than either that or rich at richloman.com okay so perfect well thanks for being here we're out of time so we've got to get going absolutely but yeah thanks for taking time out of your day absolutely All thank right. you appreciate it thanks for watching community connect we'll see you next time 
Quality and craftsmanship are at the heart of every sweet we craft, guaranteeing each tempting treat delights the taste buds and gratifies the soul. Sweet Temptations, homemade indulgences that instantly delight and ignite your senses. So whether you need an exceptional gift for someone special or just want to treat yourself, step into Sweet Temptations today and experience the taste of pure bliss. 621 Miller Drive in Grand Haven or at sweet-temptations.com. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. <laughs> 